Right now, though, joining us on the line, we were talking about this guy earlier, is UFC heavyweight and former Strike Force heavyweight Grand Prix champion Daniel Cormier. Daniel, who is 1 0 in the UFC right now. Thanks so much for joining us on the corner. Great to have you on. How the heck are you today? I'm doing pretty good, man. Just waiting for this uh, morning sparring session so that I can get this work week done with, man. I'm. I'm sore. I can't even, uh, sore doesn't even do justice to what I feel right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it, it's Friday everywhere, I guess, right? So, I mean, you get your work week done. Uh, what do you do on the weekend, real quick? Let me just ask you. So, you get done with this horrible work week. You know, you put your body through the rigors like most of us will never experience. What do you do on the weekend? You know, man, like, I, I, I usually train on Saturday mornings. I lift weights early, and then I, uh, I hit some pads, and then I'm done. I try to get done at around 11 or 12 so that I can uh, I can have like a day and a half of rest. So afterwards, I, I just come home and relax, man. You get my kids in the back right now, you know. They're uh, and kind of play with them, and I spend time with my kids. You know, we try to do stuff with the children. And, and this week, uh, this week's the first, um, my kids' wrestling program has their first tournament on Sunday. So now my Sundays are going to be committed to uh, my youth wrestling program. <laughs> Wow, fantastic, man. Well, Daniel, we've talked to you plenty of times here on the show. We've had you down on the set. You know, you're always a blast. But this is the first time we've talked to you since Olympic wrestling has been saved. I, I need to hear yeah. your thoughts on this. Oh, man, I'm excited about it. You know, it, it, it's a lot of times, like, you know, everybody's real happy about it. And you feel like, man, that's a, that's a blessing and everything. But, you know, when I realistically look at wrestling in the Olympic Games, I think to myself, that's where it belongs. You know, there is no Olympics without the wrestling. So they didn't do us any favors. You know, what they did was the right thing by putting wrestling right back where it belongs. So uh, I think they got it right, man. You know, I'm not, I don't think it's a, uh, they did us any favors or anything like that. I think they just got it right. Yeah, they corrected their mistake is pretty much mm -hmm. it, and it's what you said. Yeah. Uh, it's where it belongs because if, if you think ancient Olympics and what this whole – the whole reason for the Olympics, wrestling was one of the major parts, and it always should be. Yes, yes, it should. Now, your fight coming up, Roy Nelson, mm -hmm. uh, very, yeah. very interesting. What uh, – he, he – kind of some things were thrown out on Twitter. It seemed like uh, you guys are both really interested in this fight. Why? Because, man, you know, it, it was a fight that they uh, talked about making force right after he knocked out Czech Congo, and then it didn't happen. And then um, and then he got offered a short-notice fight, and I did get offered the short-notice fight, too. And uh, I wasn't able to take it uh, because of my hand. And then after my, after my uh, when I went to the doctor to try to take the fight, my hand, I wasn't medically cleared to take the fight, so I couldn't do it. Well, after that, Roy, just, Roy decided to say that I turned down a fight against him. Uh, as I said time and time again, if someone says that I turned down a fight against him, I'll probably pursue it. So that's why I have so much interest in the fight. If you say I don't want to fight you, then there's a good chance I'm going to pursue that fight and try to fight you. Do you agree with Roy that he's the smartest guy in the room? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Well, picking a fight with me, I, I wouldn't think it's that smart. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, let, let me ask you real quick, Daniel. Uh, you came into the UFC. You won your first UFC fight versus uh, Frank Mir. Uh, you won versus a unanimous decision back on UFC at Fox 7. I mean, with all your success in, in Strike Force, and now you're obviously taking it to the next level here in the UFC, has anything changed? I mean, I, I know that you go through a lot of the similar preparations because you're an athlete, but has anything changed for you in your life since joining the UFC? Well, I mean, since I joined the UFC, you know, I do a lot more of the TV stuff for uh, Fox. Um, and I think that's probably been the biggest change of all the TV stuff that I'm doing and the, and the travel. But, you know, ever since I Silva, it's kind of been on a steady incline. You know, I, I've been real busy with, with travel and sponsors and, and all that other stuff. You know, it, I think it takes a big win. You, you get that big win. And if you can win the next one uh, to, to capitalize on the momentum from the big win, uh, sponsors notice it, people notice it, and then it's kind of a steady incline, you know. So outside of the the uh, the TV stuff, there hasn't been much change. I mean, my preparation's always been pretty thorough, but uh, it's been more the TV stuff. You you've also done a couple of those Q and As ahead of the pay per views for the fans. Oh yeah, I've done those too. Yeah, you have, and yeah. in the uh, most recent one here, ahead of 164, you were discussing your uh, your cut to 205, that you're going to actually come in against Roy Nelson probably somewhere around 220, if I'm not mistaken? Well, you know, I, I, I in, that, in that range, 
you know, I, I, I haven't really been, I've been pretty light, you know, so I've been doing my diet and everything, you know, so uh, it's actually coming off really fast, which is kind of a little bit of a concern because I don't want to be too, too small for this fight, but right. I'm going to be noticeably lighter for this fight and, and uh, hopefully it'll, it'll help me, you know, but I've, I've got to be kind of careful because I don't want to be too small because Roy weighed 260 last fight. Now, if Roy weighed 240 like he did in uh, uh, one time, I don't know who he was fighting in, you know, that actually, I think that's better for me because he wouldn't be as big. Yeah, I think that was back against Verdum. And, you know, yeah, he, if you look at those two fights of Roy's, you know, Verdum and Stipe, those are the two that he's lost of, as of late. So what did you take away from those fights that you think will be advantageous for yourself? Well, you know, there's some big differences, especially physically. You know, Stipe and, and Verdum are both big guys. I'm not, not a really big guy. You know, I'm, I'm shorter than Roy, which is probably going to be the, the, the one time that he's in the cage with someone shorter than he is. But, uh... Um, just foot movement, you know, being real athletic and explosive is going to help me creating great angles on my stand up and just mixing it up, man. I got to take Roy down. I've got to give him a lot of, uh, a lot of things to worry about. I can't stand in front of him because of his power mm -hmm. and, uh, and, uh, just give him a lot of movement and just make him try and keep up with me, uh, in ways that I don't think he can, you know, athletically. If, if, uh, we had, if Roy and I had to do box jumps, I think I would win. If we jumped hurdles, I think I would win. So I need to use those types of athletic movements to uh, keep him off balance. If I make it a, 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 a contest where you have two guys just meet in the center and are just plotting to each other, uh, that can be an issue for me. But uh, cutting angles, moving around, being elusive, being fast, I'm not sure he can keep up with me in that sense. Now, Roy has uh, really put on a show lately when it comes to his stand-up game, you know, knocking a lot of guys out, something that really hadn't happened before. Um, and now, But he, a lot of people forget that he is a grappler, and he does have good mm -hmm. wrestling, and he, he's an amazing jiu-jitsu uh, practitioner. Uh, what are your thoughts on, on how your ground games stack up? Well, you know, obviously Roy is more credentialed than I am in the, in the jiu-jitsu, but I've got probably the greatest heavyweight uh, grappler in, in the world in my camp now for the last three weeks, uh, Marcus Almeida, uh, Buchecha. He's been here uh, on three different occasions for a week, and I've been able to grapple him uh, and, and do fairly well. I mean, obviously you're going to get submitted when you're going with guys that are of that level and, and that, are that, that are that good, but um, it's given me a confidence that I may not have had before I fought Frank Mir. You know, because when, when Kane and I are grappling, we're basically just standing up. You know, we don't necessarily grapple. Where with, with Mark, with, with uh, Buchecha, I'm actually grappling, rolling around on the ground, and uh, I'm learning, you know. So so I feel pretty good. I know Roy's more credentialed than I am. But with my wrestling base and with the things that I've picked up in this training camp, I think I'll be fine. You know, Daniel, I've got a question for you kind of off the uh, off the MMA subject, more to do with your alma mater. You went to Oklahoma State University, uh, obviously yeah. were a standout there. Oklahoma State's been the subject of a very, very widespread recent investigation by SportsIllustrated.com. And I just want you to comment briefly on your thoughts of the state of the college athletics, especially with Oklahoma State, and, and the paying issues. Do you have any issue with this, or, or what are your thoughts? Well, you know, I, I think you now it's like it's it's become such a lucrative business that 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 kids aren't really looking at it like we used to back before. You know, oh, we're we'll getting we'll get to get a free education. So, I think some of these kids are looking for other ways to, to get money for for what they're doing, which doesn't make it right. Uh, in terms of the Oklahoma State situation, I think I think it's a, a lot of it. A lot of it's been a uh, uh, a lot of a lot of it's been kind of. Uh, the, the guy has been been kind of uh, made made to, to to look bad because of his history of writing articles towards Coach Gundy. It seems almost as if he has a vendetta against the coaching staff there. And yeah, I guess the guy's an Oklahoma University graduate, so yeah, there's a lot of reasons why uh, the story could be uh, he could be embellishing a little bit in terms of what he's doing. And all the guys that that he did interview, they're all recanting their their statements, and also. Uh, you have all the NFL guys who were the best players at the university saying they never got paid. So if they didn't, why would the other guys get paid? Well, all, all I wish that I could have been a college athlete to get the hostess program. That's all I've ever wanted. So, Heidi, uh, we've only got about a minute left here with Daniel. So uh, you've got one question, I think, here to yes, end up. Yes, I do. I just wanted to clarify if this will, in fact, be your last fight at heavyweight. Yes, it is. It. This is done. I'm looking to uh, fight at 205 in my next fight. Uh, you will see when I step on the scale that I have made 
the gains in that direction that I need in order to fight in that weight division next year early sometimes. And just real quick, uh, you got your eye on anybody in that division? Uh, I don't know. You know, it, 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 with the big fight last weekend, things have been shuffled around a little bit, so we'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully I can get through Roy Nelson first. Well, I, right. I, I tell you what, Daniel, I think you're a blast to watch. Always loved watching you in Strike Force. Love watching you here in the UFC. Great luck against Roy Nelson coming up. UFC 166, October 19th this year. And we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for joining us on The Corner. Thank you guys for having me again. 